As an event photographer, I rely on the tools that... What the heck was that? Ah. Uh... Hey guys, Omar here, and today we're going to talk about culling your images. Culling means picking the best images. The way I used to cull my images is I would go to Lightroom, and I'd have to select them all, and then go to Library, Previews, and build one-to-one -one previews. And what I would do is I would go get a cup of coffee, have some lunch, and I would come back and Lightroom's one-to-one -one previews would totally be built. And what that meant was I could zoom into the photograph and check for critical focus, just check each photo quickly without the annoying, you go to the next picture and it has to load, 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 load. So I used to build one-to-one -one previews and that was time consuming because then I would edit and then I would have to delete all those one-to-one -one previews. It was like part of the workflow. So then I discovered Photo Mechanic. Uh, Photo Mechanic is a great and a popular uh, software that's used by wedding photographers and event photographers because it uses a little embedded sidecar file so that you can quickly look through the photos without them having to like render. And so it's great for naming your photos, putting metadata in your photos, picking photos, fantastic. Now Adobe just recently announced Lightroom Classic and Lightroom Classic now has an ability, the ability to, instead of building one-to-one -one previews, you can tell it to build, to, sh to use the embedded sidecar file and so that you can call and zoom into the images without it having to build from the original image or some kind of voodoo magic. I don't understand how it works. So this was totally interesting to me because my workflow is I take my memory card, it goes into my hard drive. I go get a cup of coffee. I then come back, open up Photo Mechanic, call my Id images through Photo Mechanic, bring them into Lightroom, do my edits in Lightroom, and then export them from Lightroom. So today I'm gonna to compare the photo mechanic culling with the Lightroom culling and see if they're both fast and quick and compare the two. Note, I don't like importing the images through the software. The software is able to add metadata and uh, change the file name and do stuff beforehand. I like to physically grab them from the card through a card reader and put them into the drive. Let me know if you want me to make a video. Maybe I'll make a video on my whole like workflow. But for now, Lightroom versus Photo Mechanic. All right, we're here in Photo Mechanic. So once the images are in the drive and once you double click on the card, they come right in and it reads them there. And already, immediately, they're already there. They take a second once you scroll, but from beginning to end, the entire card is on there. The way I call my images through Photo Mechanic is using the same labels as Lightroom. So what I wanna do when you set up Photo Mechanic is I go to Preferences, and then it says little colors here. There's a little Shazam in this corner. I hit the Shazam and I pick Adobe Lightroom. Now, every time I hit the letter, the number three, like this, if I hit, double click on an image, render, 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 ooh. If I hit three, I, I get a little green label in the corner over here, okay? Then if I don't want that, I can hit zero. It does take a millisecond for photo mechanic. By the way, I always take pictures of my hand. This is a good way to test exposure quickly if you're shooting manual flash. Uh, really quick. Okay, so it kinda is going through them pretty good. If I start to go too fast, like let me hold down the button, uh, they will be pixelated. And then if I hold, I'm holding down the right key, you will get no preview whatsoever. Okay, so that's on Photo Mechanic. Let go, two, three, landed on a kid's head. Not bad. Uh, there seems to be like a little bit of pixelization weight, but it's quick, it's pretty quick. Uh, if I do hold down the right, the Photo Mechanic can't keep up. If I hit Z, uh, I see pixelation. Oh, let's check focus. Check and focus, so it takes a second. Check focus, yeah, little millisecond there, millisecond, checking focus, eyebrow. Okay, so the zoom works okay for checking focus. Here we go, focused. Yeah, that guy's happy. My camera's detecting his face. I guess he's better looking than I am. Okay, so that's photo mechanic. Let's try the same thing in Lightroom. Let's uh, load the images, bring them in. Let's try to zoom. Let's try to go fast and see if there's a difference. All right, so here we are in Lightroom. I'm gonna hit the import button and find that folder. Import, now over here on the right side, I have picked embedded and sidecar. And this is the card I need, same as photo mechanic. Let's add that. And we're gonna import and see if we can start culling right away. So here come the images. All right, so here they're loading up. I'm gonna scroll down. You can actually see them loading up in Lightroom with the embedded sidecar. 
Uh, let me double click on one. Pixelation, nice. And over here you can see it says embed sidecar on the right side. Let's uh, use, let's go to the right really fast, see what happens. Let's go to the right. So they're all loading, still loading. Pixelated of course, because they're still probably rebuilding that little embedded sidecar file, but doesn't go blank. It doesn't go blank, that's cool. I'll hit Z to zoom just to check focus really quick. And I can go through them and the same as photo mechanic. There's like a slight little pixelation for a millisecond, even with the embedded sidecar. Now Lightroom is working in the background, so it is sort of still building um, little previews. I'll test after that little rebuild is there. Let me try again. I'll hold down the right. Let's check that. I'm holding down the right and they're going through. They seem to be, if they have the embedded preview, they seem to be built full. Okay, one advantage of Lightroom over Photo Mechanic. One great thing you can do is you can shift click and hit the N key. And what you can do here is you can actually call or look at multiple images and you can mark multiple images. But in Photo Mechanic, if you wanna like sort of look at, if you wanna call these images here, uh, you kinda gotta go between the three. They do give you a side-by-sider. Uh, but I like the fact that in Lightroom you can pick five images, hit the N key and see them all at once. And also keyboard shortcuts, you can hit G for grid. And if you wanted to compare images uh, in Lightroom, what you could do is you hit the C key for compare and you can actually zoom in. And when you zoom in, it actually zooms in on both images. So you could see one is blurry and one is sharp. Now, unfortunately, in Photo Mechanic, when you hit zoom, it does zoom in on the image, but if you move one, it ignores the other. So you kind of have to go between the two, unless you guys know if you lock the two or do something. But I like that in Lightroom, I can sort of pick the images and uh, if you want to look around, it, it will move both at the same time. So. Okay, so Lightroom has finished building its embedded sidecar files. You can see that there's a little symbol here, which shows you that does have an embedded sidecar. Uh, so you can hit zoom right away and it doesn't pixelate at all. Let's try a couple. Let's move down a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Hit the Z key. Ah, it took a second. It took a little second to render there. You know, it's not crazy lightning fast, but it's still better than building the one-to-one -one previews. Okay, so let me try to zoom in. Great. Go to the right. Nice. Z, not bad, not bad at all. And then now holding down the right key, whoa, and we're breakdancing here, we're breakdancing. Um, it looks like it moves pretty quick without super pixelation. I felt there was a little bit more in Photo Mechanic. Uh, let's try again, Photo Mechanic key, here we go. Uh, going to the right, you see how Photo Mechanic also sort of disappears? Go to the right, disappears. Okay, let's do the right test here on Lightroom. Go to the right, go. <laughs> not disappearing, not disappearing, not bad. I'm impressed, I'm impressed. So if Lightroom is building the embedded car files in the background, it stinks. It's all pixelated and stuff. Once it's finished working, uh, it totally starts looking pretty good there. So here we go. Uh, holding down one more time. Oh boy. Okay. Mmm. I want donuts. I don't know why. All right, as usual, this is me just playing around, testing things from what I noticed from my machine. And by the way, let me tell you what I'm running here. Uh, I'm running... This is a 5K 27-inch iMac from 2017. 4.2 gigahertz, yada yada. Uh, nah. Run your own test. Uh, from what I noticed, the uh, photo mechanic is great, uh, but seems a little laggy on my machine. Lightroom, once it builds those embedded card files, uh, sidecar files, it seems great to work with the embedded sidecar files. So will that change my workflow? I don't know, I'm gonna do more tests and you should do more tests. You probably have a different computer, use different cards. Uh, your file size may be different. 
Um, so definitely do your own test. This was me again, just usually fooling around and showing you what I've learned. I'm so used to my photo mechanic workflow that it's gonna take a little while to get used to if I even am gonna use the Lightroom Classic. But I'm gonna try a few jobs with the Lightroom Classic. Just go right there and skip the photo mechanic stage and see how it goes. And I'll report back maybe in the comments or in a follow up video. All right, guys, make sure to like, subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer as many as I can. All right, take care, guys. Thank <laughs> you.